accepting. Tonight we have new information on a story we first told you about here on KY3 News at 9. Video of that pit bull attacking a golden retriever walking with uh, the golden retriever's owner in North Springfield. Well, the pit bull in this case was put on a 10-day quarantine at the Springfield Green County Animal Shelter. And that quarantine ended today. KY3's Dustin Hodges has been following the story and is live tonight with the latest. Ethan, the health department says they have still not heard from the owner of the dog, but they have made contact with a family member who says he will come pick the dog up, which means if he does, the health department will not have to euthanize it. The pit bull that attacked a golden retriever in North Springfield could soon get her freedom. We've never been able to talk to the actual owner that we were given the name by the police department. We were able to contact someone identified as a nephew. As long as they will come forward, we will find the resources to help them get their dog back. But the Humane Society also wants to make sure the dog doesn't wind up under their supervision again. So before they let her go, they're bringing her into compliance with the city's pit bull ordinance. They get registered, and that means the microchipping, which we already do at the shelter, the rabies vaccination, and the spay and neuter, which we work very closely with our partner, Safe House, the low-cost spay and neuter clinic in town, to make that happen. The owner will still have to pay the sheltering fee and possibly some tickets. The boarding fees, because it's been at our facility 10 days, run about $144. It's possible they could get a ticket for having an unregistered pit bull in the city limits of Springfield uh, for dog at large, meaning it was not being properly restrained. But she should be reunited with her family soon enough. Now, the health department says the owner or his family has at least until next Wednesday to come pick up the dog. But as long as the family maintains contact with the health department, they won't euthanize it, Ethan. All right, Dustin Hodges in our newsroom tonight. We have